Hi everyone, this is Laura from Watch Laura Sew. Have you ever looked at something and when you look at it and you look at the pattern of a fabric or a table runner, it reminds you of someone special in your life? That's the case with me. I, I made this table runner from this beautiful coffee themed fabric. It has Co coffee cups with coffee beans on it and it has just it's just absolutely beautiful but you know the reason I think that I chose this fabric and I started thinking about it and I think because it reminds me of a wonderful time that I had with a very special friend many years ago I used to go to church with a friend of mine after church, we would go to either have lunch at a restaurant or we would go to a bookstore and sometimes we would do both. And at the bookstore, there was always a coffee place that you could get coffee and walk around the bookstore with your coffee. And I loved that. And I have to tell you that those were some of the most joyful times with my friend. And I do miss that very much. We now live many miles apart. I still remember the times with her and those very, very special times. But I will tell you something. I think in those years that we did that, I bought an awful lot of books and I am not sure that I read very many of them, but I sure did buy a whole bunch. I enjoyed those times very much and this table runner reminds me of that. In fact, I think when I saw the fabric, it really reminded me of that. So now I want to look at how I'm going to quilt this fabric and how I'm going to quilt this table runner. And I think what I'm going to do is make a very simple uh, quilting pattern for this. And in fact, I'm going to choose one of my favorite quilting patterns for this particular table runner. And it has, in fact, it's one of the ones that I've used for years, but I haven't used recently. And when you look at it, it will look like what we're doing is making very long leaves along each of the seams. But in fact, when we turn it over, it's going to look like interlocking circles. And that's what I call the quilt pattern. So let's get started. We are actually using the Viking Topaz 30 today. It's a long story, but in it involves two of my sewing machines going into the repair shop at the same time. So we're left with the Viking Topaz, which is a wonderful machine, and I'm so happy that we're able to use it. So we are going to do free motion quilting on this particular machine. And as you see, what we're doing is we are actually making a curved, uh, almost like a curved meander and it's uh, going out and running along all of the seams of this particular table runner. So each time I do a curve and I have the curve about three quarters of an inch to an inch away from the, the seam at the widest part. And I do this for every single seam. Now I tend to work in rows so that I have a very logical approach to it because if you don't, I find for me, I can forget uh, doing one of these rows. And then I, at the end, I find out that I missed entire section. <laughs> so I like to get them done. So I like to do the mean rows and I like to be very organized about doing it. But you know, I honestly feel that each person will probably approach this a little bit differently. And it kind of depends on how you think about going through a pattern. I'm going to speed this up so that you can watch some of the quilting of this table runner. Now I do turn the table runner quite a bit and it's only because I like to see where I'm going, especially on this particular machine. So it helps me out quite a bit. So I'm going to speed it up.
Now I, what I want to do is I want to put the edge edging onto the table runner. So I run a seam along the very edge of the table runner. This does several things. It kind of establishes a stability to the table runner and it also serves as an, a kind of a line where the binding is going to go later on. So I do this and I love using this particular uh, walking foot. I use the walking foot on the Topaz 3 it works out great. I love this particular walking foot. I got it many years ago when I got a totally different Viking machine. And this was an extra that I just decided, you know, I'm going to go ahead and buy. And it turned out that this one worked out perfectly. What I do is I just go around the entire table runner in order to stabilize everything. Now we're coming into the last part of the quilting for the table runner. And this is really exciting. We're going to complete the rest of the half circles or slight meanders, whatever you would like to call them. That it, it is just a curved line that we're finishing out on the edge of each of the outside squares or outside block. Now the thing about it is I try to make these curved lines in one smooth motion. When I do it in one movement, it tends to work a whole lot better. And you can see when you stop, it has the opportunity of the table runner moving on you. And when that happens, you can actually have just a little bit of a movement in the quilting line. So I try very hard not to have that happen. Now we're coming into the last three, well, the last two uh, blocks in order to finish the final uh, half circles. And we will be done with this table runner except for the binding and putting the binding on. Now I could show you the back and I've been waiting to show you this back because it looks really, really fun. So here we go. So one of the things that I do is I will turn it over and I will check for things like tucks. I will check, check for the stitches to make sure everything looks good. Then I'll turn it over to the front side and also check the stitching as well to make sure that everything looks great. But I really wanted to show you the other side. The back side, you can see the interlocking circles. So what it started out as kind of a half of a circle. It turned out great in order to make interlocking circles. And that's what I call this design. I don't know what other people call it, but that's what I call it. Now it's time to go ahead and cut the excess batting and fabric off of the table runner and we can really see the size of the table runner at that point and also we can really look at the design of the table runner this is when it comes together and there we go the table runner is ready for binding and I can't wait to finish this table runner up. It was really one of these wonderful table runners that reminded me of a very special friend. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and if you did, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to, but it really helps me out. And I will see you next time at the sewing machine.